When I first heard you know, about the explosions in Boston, obviously I was very concerned. Um, immediately we were hearing that there was loss of life, which is absolutely devastating. You know, meeting with people in the civil liberties community, uh, in the legal community, um, there's a real concern about immediate backlash against the Muslim community. The actions that took place in Boston, painful, tragic, um, causing great hurt, were caused by a few individuals. And, and so it's not the basis for our making judgments of an entire group of people, and certainly not judging all immigrants. I think that some people are saying that we should just leave immigration alone for, for a while because of these bombings. You know, I think that's, that's a cop-out, and I think it's the wrong conversation. And you'll find, I think, that most people who are opposed to immigration are not approaching it from a perspective of human rights, but they're approaching it from what's best for me and my family. I think that we need to get past that mindset, all of us, you know, on all sides of the aisle. We have um, communities, even individuals, who come to this country and enter communities that make them feel foreign. We've all had the experience of being an outsider. We've all moved. We've all been in a new or a strange place, whether that's a new church, a new workplace, a new community, or even a new country. So being an outsider is not only the story of immigrants. It's something we all experience. We want to move to having a true sense of belonging, that this is a place I'm meant to be, that I'm welcomed, I'm valued, I'm trusted, and there's a place for me in this community. We can do more, you know, as Americans. We can do more to, to include. Uh, we need to be careful about what we say. You know, we need to be careful about, um, you know, which of our prejudices we allow to escape our mouths. Like, honestly, I mean, everyone's going to have fears. Everyone's got a phobia. Um, but phobias don't always turn into bigotry. I think that that's an important distinction. Um, we need to be very careful about how we treat each other and want for each other what we want for ourselves. Uh, and so part of that inclusion, I think, is going to be um, legal you know, just as uh, this immigration reform process is practical as well as symbolic. And so I think that, you know, as people of faith, I think we can be the vanguard. I think that we can take the lead on really changing the conversation a little bit, on changing the frame, you know, not just responding to, to, to these charges or having this conversation around, um, you know, just like, you know, liberty versus security or things like this, but what does it mean to be a person of faith? What does it mean to be a person of love, you know, and to really love each other as you love yourself and as you love your family?